Alright guys, so before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I'll show up directly. So we have finally reached. Let's go. It just took me one hour, roughly, not exactly, but yeah, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Alright guys, welcome back once again. Uh, if you're someone new to my channel, my name is Niklesh. Right now we are at Bremen Hauptbahn of the main station. I'm heading out from here uh, to... Uh, this train is by the way actually going to Frankfurt. I took this train from uh, Hamburg. So one thing about Bremen is uh, Bremen itself, it's a state capital. There are a total of three state capitals in this country. Berlin, Hamburg and Bremen, these are state capitals within itself. We're just heading out from here. Uh, always check out these indications from here. Not gonna lie, this is my first time in Bremen. I've never had an opportunity to come here. Well, wherever the university is, I always like to travel there. Wow, this is grand here. There's a taxi stand right there, there are bus stops right there. I hope I'm in the right exit. So this is a giant, giant gate uh, I just came out from here. Uh, looking around for my friend. Most probably I'll have to either take a bus unless I go to the city center. How are you? See you man. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, the camera is on. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a friend. He will be taking us around the Hochschule. I have someone else also who's going to join on the way. Since how long are you in in uh, Bremen? I came in February. 2021. Okay. Yeah, 2021 when the storm came, the the strong storm in Germany. And how did you enter during that storm? It was terrible. <laughs> My first experience, <laughs> first day was terrible. What are you studying? So I'm studying MBA at the Hochschule. So okay. Hochschule has a business school called IGC okay. and I'm studying there. We're not that far from Hochschule actually. It's barely like 1.3 kilometers. What flight route did you take to get to Bremen? My flight from India was from Delhi to Bangalore and from Bangalore to Frankfurt. And then I had a train boat. To, from Frankfurt to Bremen. Right. I also learned from some students that they came from wherever in India to Hamburg and then ah. from Hamburg to Bremen there is a flight. There is an airport here in the city. We are also going to see Beck's Brewery on the way. Okay, Beck. Oh, it's here. The, the famous Beck's Brewery. Yeah, yeah. That's where he studies. Yeah. So okay. LA, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the name of the tram stop, Hochschule Bremen, and uh, it only took us like literally five minutes, five seven minutes to get here. So tell us where exactly are we right now? So we are in front of the IGC building, International Graduate Center. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, a part of Hochschule Bremen, which deals with business courses like MBAs, which is my course as well. So I'm okay. studying MBA in Global Management over here. Are you paying any tuition fees for that? Yeah. So this program is a paid program. Uh, I'm paying around 14,000 euros, which is for the whole program. From IGC building, we're just going to cross the road. 
uh, and this is where officially Hokshule starts. On both sides, there is one building for Hokshule here. There is another building uh, for IGC International Graduate Center right here. Um, I have a couple of my friends who are joining us here on the trip. Uh, how about like you introduce yourself, please? Talking about my experience, I have studied in my bachelor's commerce from Delhi University, and then I did my post graduation course in fashion design. And uh, then I worked in the fashion industry with a couple of brands and then I started up my own business. So, but then I finally wanted to have some international exposure. So I thought of enrolling in some MBA program which is uh, globally affiliated. So I chose IGC for that and over here I'm doing MBA in global management. Perfect. What about you? So, I am from the western part of India, from Gujarat. I have done my bachelor's in instrumentation and control. I decided to do my master's as soon as we completed my bachelor's. And my master's program uh, is uh, electronics engineering uh, with the major module in measurements and instrumentation. And what flight route did you take to get here? I took a flight from Mumbai to Istanbul and from Istanbul I came directly to Bremen okay. and my flight was Turkish. Turkish, Turkish Airlines, Airlines yeah. yeah? Okay, good. What SIM card do you have now? So I took one from Aldi. <laughs> so Aldi I own Talk. Aldi Talk. <laughs> it, it works perfectly. It works amazing. I yeah. love it's, it. It's quite affordable. Yeah, yeah. It gets the job done, I guess. I right? think it, it is affiliated with O2 over here. They have network yeah. with them, yeah. yes. I have premium SIM card and it has amazing plans as well and it works good. <laughs> and it has a good name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not That's sure good. of the network, but... <laughs> A good no, name. It, it, it is works, uh, yeah? affiliated with the O2, so it has a great network as well. Right, right. Which bank account do you have? Like, wh what local bank Shparka account? Sparkasa. Sparkasa, yeah? Okay. I have Commerce Bank. Commerce Bank. Okay. Because it just gave me 100 euros for enrolling. <laughs> 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 I, I missed it. <laughs> So we are at the Menza of Hochschule Bremen. So over here you can get food for like students at a subsidized price. So to get the food you need to get a Menza card from there in the building. And it's uh, like right there you go yeah. inside. So the entrance it. is over there. And uh, once you get a card you can buy your food. You need It's a prepaid card so you need to load money on it. And it's really easy then you just go in and swipe and you get a meal. <laughs> If you have any problem with the accommodation, then you can visit the IGC building or we have uh, uh, an office of student and work over here where we can contact them and they can help us out with the accommodation thing. And this building can be visited uh, going through Mensa. Yeah. Well, what building is this? A and B? A and B, all the major events uh, like uh, international days or uh, maybe events like uh, student gatherings or seminars uh, everything happens in this building right now we are standing in front of M building uh, M section is basi basically where mechanical uh, courses are there we have few of them uh, which are uh, which are related to nature and technique we have faculty 2 and faculty uh, 5 studies going on th in this building inside this building we have this huge library and uh, we can get uh, we can get each and every book which are related to st our studies. Um, so this entrance is right opposite to Menza. In the beginning, when I came out of the uh, tram stop, there's also another entrance for the same building. This is where your department is. Yeah, that's electronics and informatics, faculty four. So this is building number E. Yes. Okay. We just need to walk straight, and there we are. That's where. There are some labs here. This is some research lab. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, energy related research is going go on in this okay. area. Every other building is connected, interconnected, right? Like yeah, look, even this M building, which we showed you from the other side, it you know even this. Like literally, you you don't have to go out. Yeah, Once you're inside, true. you can 
really go to the other buildings also you can choose any entrance and you can visit any building mm -hmm. here uh, we have some engineering departments mainly related to energy and we have the labs uh, right beside uh, right behind this building uh, those are energy labs and few courses related to informatics also uh, can be studied in this place right right and this is right behind ab building yeah so from this campus uh, we are heading to the other campus What's the cost of living here as a student? It's approximately 550 euros to 700 euros per month. For me, uh, I paid 220 as my rent and uh, 111 for health insurance and for grocery I take roughly around 60 to 100 euros per month. For me it's like 370 for rent and then 111 for again public health insurance and uh, groceries around 80 to 100 euros. and then the miscellaneous if you want to go and it's very personal so we cannot uh, sum up the miscellaneous it depends on person to person uh what is a part time job situation here in the city you can find a part time job but that depends basically on what interests you like if you want to enter a food industry then uh then you can get into mcdonald's kfc's and burger kings and they do hire but uh when you you, you need to get updated with the vacancies because they have like different branches and stuff few of them are outside the city as well but uh, they are like nearby so you can have part time jobs but it is quite easy to get a part time job in bremen so for a month can you give me like a ballpark what will i earn as a part time student so over here the general as a part time salary is 10.5 around 5 10.15 yeah, is the minimum age between wage. 10 to 10.50 you can earn uh, per, per on hour. an hourly basis yeah. so this is like a general pay right. scale since you are allowed to work for 20 hours a week i think by the end of the month you should easily be able to make 6 to 800 yes yes yeah. after tax yeah? yeah 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 cool and that's that's enough that's, that's like enough really good to sustain bremen it's like right right right